Before I say anything, you should 100% read my comments on my videos, because I give important information there. Now to the introduction. Hi guys. Today we will be looking at my ranking system and how it works. Here's an overview of the themes for the video. If you're new here, hi I'm Psychorius and I make pop dance analysis. Now shall we start? First and foremost, I'm not a dance teacher nor an expert so you should not take my ranking too seriously. But I started dancing in primary school. Hip hop was my main, and my classes had elements from housing, popping and even break dance during that time. At the same time, I watched many dancers from L.A. during that age and I chose to spend my free time on learning new stuff like tutting, walking and even pirouettes hi ha. By the way I suck at pirouettes. I danced for a few years, but then quit to focus on school. I started taking classes again half a year ago, and now I'm trying out styles outside my comfort zone to expand my knowledge. This section is called performance quality. I could have called it stage presence, but performance quality sounded better hi ha. These are the criteria included. Facial expression, charisma, and concept versatility. Facials and concept versatility are highly linked. It's all about how you can adapt your facials according to the song or the feeling of the song. I will judge based on that, and your consistency, awkwardness, and if it's appropriate to for instance over exaggerate, etc. However, if you have noticed, I don't explain all of these on my analyses, because the video would be too long but I do in fact take absolutely everything into consideration. Typically, stage presence is subjective, so my opinion counts mostly. But if you want to share your opinion about their technique or stage presence, you will be heard. Make sure to share and explain before I upload the video. Your opinion matters as much as mine. First part weight 15%, meaning you can earn up to 15 points. This part is all about the technique. It's about how you execute some certain movements, your decision making, and how well you do it, and your consistency. When I give points in upper body control, I look at everything. Your arm control, small hand or finger details, dorsal control, upper body isolation, locks, also back alignment and if you got enough strength to execute your body. But note that, isolation and locks are on its own category. That's because isolation and locks are some of the fundamentals you learn when you first start dancing. Footwork is the main criteria in lower body control, but it also includes leg alignment, strength, proper execution, no sloppiness nor stiffness and extended hips. Upper body and lower body got the most points, but everything is connected. If you got hunched shoulders, it would affect your body alignment, upper body control and coordination. So yes, I look at everything. Part 2 weights 45% meaning you can earn maximum 45 points. Part 3 is called movement quality. This is absolutely my favorite. Shortly explained, it regards how you can make your movements more interesting. The criteria are dynamics, musicality, flavor, energy, agility and power projection is all in one criterion. I will explain the reason later. I will mainly talk about flavor. Flavor or texture can be everything. Predominantly I look at groove, flow, rhythm, flavors, variation, attitude, smooth transitions, style change. Again, it's everything. Part 3 weight 40%, meaning you can earn up to 40 points. There's a reason why body control is only weighted 45%. That's because it's not my area to talk about. Sure, I do have experience in dancing, but that does not mean I know how every little movement should be executed. Again, I'm just a normal person like you guys. In addition, if I weighted body control higher, I wouldn't know how to score the idols because the points are too high. For example, if you can get 20 points in upper body, how am I supposed to give you the right score? I could give you 17 or 15 or 20, but the result won't be accurate. Less points makes it easier to decide the right amount. There are other channels out there who has technique as their main criteria. But for me, it's not the most important part. Movement quality, however, is my area. To see how idols can vary the movements and add some flavor is truly the best. You should, in my opinion, 
experiment and have fun, rather than executing everything perfectly. That's also my way of recognizing a genuine performer. But me favoring movement quality is also a part of my dancing style. Fiercely, hip-hop is a big genre, and consists of numerous of subgenres, but I will refer everything for hip-hop just for now. I know very little about other dancing genres, but from what I've learned, hip-hop is all about confidence and having fun. You learn some steps and after gaining some body control, you start adding some flavors into it. It's truly a great way of developing your own style. Let me just demonstrate a little. I wanted to do a little twist with the analysis. As you have probably noticed, I included the bonus points. You can earn one point on each criterion. They are great self-made choreography, good freestyle, big improvement, dance background pre debut and dance material illusion or main dancer illusion. I would say I'm quite kind to give out bonus points. The easiest to get is big improvement. The hardest are good freestyle and self-made choreography. So performance quality and the bonus points are only my opinion which counts. In addition to the bigger analysis, the smaller ones are simplified. It consists of 6 criteria with 10 points on each. I don't think they need to be heavily explained. Having only 6 criteria means it is in fact easier to get a higher score or average. For you information, I have little control over giving them the grade. My job is to give them a score that corresponds to their execution. After that I calculate the average point and boom you get a B or an F. These videos are spontaneously done. I usually analyze the videos right after the video is uploaded. Some Kaoros are easier to analyze, others are not. I spend the evening to highlight a member or to see who did the best. Then the next day, I rewatch every member and boom my head works best at the midday. However, the points I give is not always accurate. I frequently question myself and think what have I done? But keep in mind that it's hard to give a certain point. Let's take Sharon from Cherry Bullet as an example. Her hand movement is pretty accurate and sharp. In that case, I could give her an 8 or something higher. But then you notice that she rarely utilizes her torso. In this case, I was struggling to give her a 6 or a 7. I still gave her a 7 because her arm movements are strong and therefore weighted more. If the arms weren't as stable, she would have gotten a 6 or a 5. Keep in mind that I know she's a good dancer. She's a B tier in my opinion, but she didn't do well in the choreography, so she did not score high. Let's also talk about her footwork. They're accurate. The steps are done correctly, but there's no energy. I don't use this term often, but she underdances a lot. So, despite being a main dancer in Cherry Bullet, she got a C. Do you see how hard it is to give them a certain score? I struggle a lot and have to watch the Fankums trillion of times. This is the most important part of the video in my opinion. This part will be divided into three sections, and you must watch all of them. I bet the reason why you watch my videos is because it's highly dance based and you like dance analysis and rankings. I'm also pretty sure you watch other dance channels. One thing you must know, is that I don't focus 100% on their dance skills. There are several channels who rank their idols based on that. My analysis is based on artistry. That's why body control is only weighted 45% while 55% is directed to their performance. 
With that in mind, idols with better performance skills can easily rank higher than idols with just good body control. That's also the reason why main dancers can happen to rank lower than another idol with low dance technique but high artistry. My ultimate dance analysis has one big purpose. It's not about who's the best dancer in Etsy or in Everglow etc. It's all about the individual progress. I don't want you guys to fight in the comments saying, Person A should rank higher than Person B. Please don't do that. Person A got this rank because that's her level according to my principles. Person B got another grade because it matches her level. So, no. There's no competition among the members or with another group members. I've been seeing comments saying, Yeji and Cherai Young should rank higher than Mia. Well again, this is an individual analysis, not a competition. I can't bring Mia down just because Yeji and Cherai Young are better dancers. This is a performance analysis after all. So please, be respectful in the comments. One of my characteristics in my personality is my ability to be objective. If my friend did something stupid and she tries to justify herself, I won't go easy on her. I would rather be critical, skeptical, and honest than favoring or defending someone. That's why I consider myself as a strict teacher, and that's probably why my friends often ask me for an honest opinion. That means, when I analyze the idols, I ignore all prejudices and biases as much as possible. Let me give you an example. Yuki is my boss and G idol. I could have easily given her a 13 or 14 in stage presence, but I didn't. You got to be as real as possible if you want to get accurate results. The same with Soyeon. I really thought she was going to get a low score on my analysis video, but she got way higher than what I expected. I couldn't change her score and give her a lower one, because that would be so unfair when the scores match the criteria. As you can see, there's no room for favoritism. And even if stage presence is subjective, I won't give you a perfect score unless you do well in all my criteria. Before we both click out of the video, I wanna say one thing. I make mistakes all the time. Sometimes I give the wrong scores. Other times I don't see every little detail as I only got two eyes and one exhausted brain. My decision making is probably my worst enemy as I frequently change my mind. In short, I am not perfect. Now you can click out or you can see some beautiful pictures of my editing process. Have a great day.